Hey there, it's Ilzi B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. And today I am going to continue convincing you that Latvian is not that difficult. Well, every language, every foreign language that you aspire to learn will require some work from you. But I don't think that Latvian is one of the hardest languages to learn. It's just our perception and I attempt to change it. Today I will help you with some words. In fact, I'm hoping to teach you 10 Latvian words today. And those will be 10 names of professions. And this lesson will be like a listening exercise. Listening for comprehension. Because there are many words in Latvian that actually have been borrowed from other languages. Specifically, you will have a similar word in English to the words that I'm going to teach you today. So what I would like to do today is that if you could take a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil because I'm going to read you 10 names of professions in Latvian and your task will be to guess what that profession is in English. So pause the video now and resume playing after you've gotten that piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. All right, all set. I'll start with reading the first profession. Architect. Now write on your piece of paper what you think it means in English. I'll read it again. Architect. Next is Dakteris. I'll read it again. Dakteris. And write it down in English. Number three is Policists. Policists. And number four is Shofferis. Shofferis. And number five is Sniperis. Sniperis. And now number six is Reperis. Reperis. And number seven would be Diplomat. Diplomat. And number eight would be pilots. Pilots. And number nine is actiris. Actiris. And finally, number ten, the most difficult one, or at least the longest one, electromontiris. Once more. Electromontiris. Was that fun? I hope it was. And now I'll have those words on your screens so that you can see how they are spelt and I'll tell you what they mean. But I will also read them aloud and I encourage you to read together with me. I'll read them twice. You can listen the first time and then when I read it the second time, please read it together with me. Let's do it. Architects. Architects. And of course it means an architect. Next is Dakteris. Dakteris. And of course it means a doctor. And number three is Policists. Policists. And that means a police officer. Number four is Schofferis. Schofferis. And it means a chauffeur. Number five is Sniperis. Sniperis. And it means a sniper. And number six is Re. Reperis. Reperis. And it means a rapper. 
Number seven is diplomats. Diplomats. And it means a diplomat. Number eight is pilots. Pilots. And it means a pilot. Number nine is aktieris. Aktieris. And it means an actor. And finally, uh, number 10 is elektromontieris. Elektromontieris. And it means an electric installer. So I hope you did really well. But I'll show you the list of words again and look at the endings. You will notice that the names of professions are either of the first declension or the second declension. Remember, I explained you declensions during the last video. So if I were to say that I'm calling an architect, then I would say es zvanu architectam. Remember how the endings changed when a noun was an indirect object? In this case, the noun would be an indirect object. So let's think how you would say, I am calling a doctor, because a doctor is dakteris. And if this noun is an indirect object in a sentence, how would that ending change? Well, I'll help you with that. You would say, es zvanu dakterim. Let's try with the next word. The next was politist. Politist is which declension? Of course, it is the first declension. So, if I wanted to say I am calling the police officer, you would say es zvanu politistam. Right? And the next one was shofferis. Shofferis. It has an ending is, so which declension is it? It is the second declension. Therefore, if I were to say I am calling the chauffeur, I would say es zvanu shofferim. Number five was sniperis. A sniper. And I'm hoping that you would not call up a sniper to place an order to shoot somebody. So I'll stop here because I hope you got the point. So this is a short lesson, but I hope that a very useful one. And you know what? I have a surprise for you. I have another free mini lesson if you wish to acquire it. And in that video lesson, I will teach what each of these people do at work. Namely, I will teach you Latvian verbs. I will tell you how to say what a policeman does at work, what an architect does at work, and etc. So, in order to acquire this free video lesson, you only need to click on the link in the description of this video, and that will take you to a little opt-in box where you will be able to express your wish to receive that video lesson from me. And then I will send it to you in an email. This free video lesson is sponsored by my course Latvian for English Speakers that I am going to reopen at the end of this month. And you don't need to do anything in order to learn more about this course, only to opt in for this free video lesson because that way I will acquire your email address and know that you are interested in learning Latvian more thoroughly. So I will send you an email about my course when it's available for purchase and then you can make your decision if you want to buy it. But now I'll say bye-bye. Ata! Till the next time. And the next video I think will also be very useful because I will be responding to somebody's letter to me. So stay tuned in, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it yet, and have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye. Ata.